Hey there, game family. Welcome back to Felseal Arbiter's Mark. In our last video, we just faced off against a group of ferocious Van Gals at Alpine Wood, and we are on our way to the town of Centina. Let's continue on the road. I love the outdoors as much as the next Arbiter. But remind me why we couldn't pass the night in a soft bed at Sentina's Inn. We should overtake Alphonse's party by midday tomorrow. I want us to keep a low profile until then. You're sure you want to do this? I understand the finer points of the law place us in the right, but you're being quite literal about it. I wouldn't be surprised if some of the Immortals had a problem with it. Especially whichever one is responsible for nominating that walking pile of dung as a marked. We're doing this. Whatever the outcome, I will take full responsibility before the Council. Hmm... All right, if that's the way it has to be. Captain, uh, uh, Kyrie, there must have been a mistake, perhaps a clerical error. I cannot believe anyone on the council would choose Lord Alphonse as an immortal candidate. What if he is actually selected in the end? It's a terrifying prospect. I doubt there was any mistake. The timing is too convenient for our lordling. No, this was very deliberate, and I wonder what it portends. It's futile to pursue this line of thought. Our lot is to ensure the law is respected, not to decipher the motives of the immortals. True, and yet... Anyone with eyes can see that conditions have grown steadily worse in recent years. Arbiters skirting their duties without consequence, bandits roaming the lands unpunished, and vulnerable people left unprotected. As you know, each Arbiter Captain is fully independent, answering only to the Council. There isn't much we can do. There is one thing we can do. Ensure the Immortal Council is not replenished with unworthy candidates, including contemptible, murdering scum. Well said. Although I'm not certain capturing Alphonse will further that goal. As I understand it, a marked is quite likely to die or disappear during their pilgrimage, usually at the hands of other marked. Be that as it may, I witnessed Alphonse's filthy crime firsthand. I'm not leaving anything to chance, especially now that the law is unquestionably on our side. I'm not sure that that's so unquestionable. I think someone will find a way to question it. Hey, Rainer, that pot has been bubbling for quite some time, and the smell... I'm not sure if she thinks the smell is good or bad. Ah, yes, you are in luck. Tonight, you get to try my wilderness stew. It's from a recipe of my own devising. The secret lies in my method of condensing the different flavors. Come closer to the fire, and I'll tell you about the process. Here we go again. All right. So that's it in Centina. I'm going to do a little bit of shopping and I'll see you right back here in just a moment. All right, and we're back. So we've done just a little bit of shopping and grabbed a couple of, uh, spent a couple of points that we hadn't spent at the last time. So to, to take a look at the major changes, uh, let's see. Rainer's very near to finishing off Scoundrel, but Anadine, uh, finished off Mercenary and has become a Scoundrel. 
Virgil and Lana still working at their respective jobs. Sonico is now a scoundrel as well, having finished off Mercenary. Varine, unfortunately, has moved nowhere in night. And Topher has moved up slightly as a mercenary, but yeah, not a whole lot. Now he's got some good gear, so he'll probably be joining us in the next fight, which we should get to right now because we're going to get attacked at Guillaume Tor. There it is. Oh, Alphonse. He's waiting to ambush us himself this time. The way forward is clear, my lord. Excellent! The temple is close. I can sense it. I, that was, I guess was the sound of us arriving. Lord Alphonse, sir! Yes, what? Spit it out, man! Your Lordship asked us to notify if any of them interpolers, um, interlopters, them intruders showed up. They have done showed, sir. I am again amazed at my ability to communicate with lesser life forms, especially the incoherently babbling kind. No, not you lot, again. Lord Alphonse, fancy that, the two of us crossing paths out in the hinterlands. I suppose that band of buffoons I sent to deal with you have bungled it. Never send a common thug to do a nobleman's work. That's the lesson here. Then you freely admit to contracting a group of brigands to kill us. Yes, I most certainly did. How embarrassing for them to have fallen to your feeble little band of ne'er-do-wells. And now what, wench? Your precious law forbids you from so much as barring my path. Mm, Alphonse, you don't know the law so well, do you? Or are you planning to bore me to death? Don't think I'll let you off so easily, though. I believe it is past time you were taught to respect your betters. Oh yes, I'm going to have to savor this, my dear. I'm going to put you down like the cur you are. Hmm, sure. I was hoping you would say that. I hereby invoke the right of self-defense in the face of mortal danger bestowed by law upon all arbiters. That's a really long name for the right of self-defense. Whilst their life is at risk, arbiters have the right to defend themselves under any circumstances against any foe, even be they immortals or marked. Wait, what? What is this law? That's not how it was supposed to be. I... Hmm. I haven't time to spar with my lessers. Underlings, I shall proceed to the temple. Remove the interlopers for me. That's right. Alphonse runs away like a coward once again. Was it ridiculous of me to think he might stay and fight? <laughs> a little bit. There are more of them up on the ridge as well, Captain. Yep, they're just chilling up there on the rocks. Well spotted, Anadine. It appears we must go through this henchman to get to Alphonse. Let's do it. Guillaume Tour. Defeat all foes. All right, Rainer, let's let's stick you right here. Anadine, we're going to throw you in right next to him. Uh, Virgil, we don't necessarily need Virgil to get a speed buff. Sure, that would be wonderful. I, I'm certain it would. 
But Virgil and Lana, I think we can do without them. Let's let's go ahead and send in Topher. He's got a nice big hammer now. Want to see how he does with that? Here we go. Battle start. Proceed. They've actually got a guy faster than Rainer, Mass Aegis. Resist up. Ooh, I don't like that. All right, we're gonna start every battle probably with Fleet of Foot. And then begin moving forward. How about here? You know, if you have a bow, Maybe getting really close to the whole party was not the best choice. You can quickly access a lot more information about any unit on their information panel. The information panel has multiple pages, and each one will showcase a different set of useful information, including status, skills, equipment, resistances, and more. For some of the pages, you can show even more information by looking at individual entries and seeing their description. Cool. Very nice to know, um, but really all I want to do is stab this guy in the back. Is that so much, so bad, much to ask right here? Uh, can we do a defensive hit? A little bit less damage, but gain some defense off of it. All right, Anadine. Now armed with a heavy crossbow. I'm not sure what her damage is going to look like. Not quite as good as she used to be with the Maul at this point. Maybe she'll get better as we go. Still, heavy crossbows, great damage at range. Gotta love that. Uh, let's see, if she can go right here, she should be able to hit this person with something. She's got some pretty weak elemental spells, but it's better than nothing. He's got no resistances. All right, Topher. Come up here and lay down the smack. That's not where I wanted to move. All right. Just hit him. Take him out. There we go. shoot at this guy it's not gonna do a lot of damage well 45 that's actually really good okay so they do have a healer over there that we want to probably try to get rid of soon And, well, I can't seem to get up on the hill. Can we actually hit this guy, though? And he's got no defense against magic. That's wonderful. It's disappointing that my casters aren't going to be able to climb up the hill. They just don't quite have as much movement. I probably should have probably should have thought ahead and increased their movement with 
Rainer. That's okay though. We're gonna be fine. We've got plenty of ranged damage that we can do, and I don't think Topher's gonna have a problem climbing it. What are you sitting at? 65. While we've got you down here, we might as well try to finish him off as quickly as we can. That 29 is not going to do it. All right. We'll hit him with something. Anything. It's still not going to finish him off, though. He's got a lot of life here. Let's hope that he doesn't get too many heals. Is this the healer? This is the mender, so that's who we want to focus on. Topher, look, your responsibility is take out the healer. That's going to help a lot. Getting hit in the head with that hammer, you would think. Well, concussion. She probably won't be able to cast for a while. Ooh, I stacked myself just wrong for getting hit by a lot of magic. Well, Rainer, you can't get up there either. Okay. Might have put myself in a difficult situation here. I might have wanted to bring the entire party down to this bottom right corner here so that we could have pulled people down off the hill. May have been the better choice. Can I hit them from where I'm standing? Yes. Yes, I think I can. Excellent. That was a good hit. Pretty happy with that one. Uh, man, I really need to get down this healer, but probably safer to go ahead and finish this guy off. Let's see. You know what? Let's not move up there. I keep forgetting that Anadine is no longer a uh, mercenary. She's not really made for frontline combat. 19 points of damage, though. That's not, not really good. What if we do move back here and risk taking a couple of hits to get in a better attack? 24? Uh, I don't know. That doesn't feel really worth it. I think we're going to stay with what we've got here. 19 it is. Maybe we will go ahead and move along this way. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make these jumps. I'm not sure what her vertical movement is. All right, send the, send the healer into frontline combat. That's brilliant. Lay down some fire right there. That healer left with so little health, it doesn't even show on the bar. Blinded. No, that's not going to be good. How did she manage still to hit with that counterattack? Luckily, Kyrie can hit at an angle now. There we go. Perfect. I was a little concerned that the healer was going to get to go before she did. I wasn't paying close enough attention, I guess, to the turn order.
I'm glad we've got some healing ability on our mage as well. All right, this fight is in the bag at this point. We're just mopping up. Oh, oh, I forgot that blinded status makes it pretty difficult to hit somebody. How are our health bars looking? Anadine could probably use a small heal. Really, Topher probably could have used a small heal as well. Ah, well, I think we're going to have to risk it. We've got 32 points of damage if we just attack, but what if we use a forceful strike? 38. The pain of the counterattack. Now we've got more than one blinded character. You know what? Uh, let's use Fleet of Foot again. Increase our movement and see if we can get Rainer back in the fight. Really, that didn't help us a whole lot. And then there was one. Where is he? Am I missing him? Oh, he's right here behind the tree. How could I not see that guy? Standing behind a tree, hiding there. Earth 2, let's see. No resistance to Earth. Ooh, that is an interesting spell effect. And once again, the healer gets to finish the battle. All right, guys, that is it for this video. We survived one more. We will head down to the Highlands for the next video on our way to the Highlands Temple. Until next time, stay sharp and be excellent to each other.